Hey friends, what is good? What's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new here, I'm Chanel. I'm a resident movie watching BFF. This is the channel where we watch movies together and I just let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time I'm watching them and we do it with our filmmaking thinking caps on because why not, you know? Hilary Duff's Why Not. If you haven't heard the song, look it up, sweetie. Anyway, today's video, if you don't already know, is going to be Tremors from 1990. Early Kevin Bacon. I'm freaking excited. We're starting our hollow watches. Disclaimer, right off the bat, my favorite thing to say during Halloween watches on the channel, we've gone through a couple of them now. I don't get scared, okay? I don't, I'm not really like a very, I'm not really someone who gets scared. I, I laugh, I think it's very funny. I, my parents from a young age told me, Chanel, it's only a movie. And from that moment on, I was a little horror babe, obsessed with everything kind of horror, bloody, gory, and gross, and I don't feel very afraid. So if you want to see somebody get truly scared, maybe you're going to have to find another reactor. But rest assured, I'm going to think this is hilarious. Uh, Tremors looks funny. It looks kind of like a parody, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm wondering if I won't understand the parody because I haven't seen the source material. So that's that's my first like thing I'm like scared I feel like it's a creature classic but maybe I will get it you know it looks creaturey so it looks like monsters and creatures which I think are, are very fun that's super fun like very gremlins they say there's nothing new under the sun but under the ground dot 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 and then there's like a dinosaur looking lizard guy and Kevin Bacon standing up there so all in all I I'm gonna watch this one just from a fun perspective I just want to have as much fun as humanly possible I want to cheer when somebody gets their head eaten off and I want to laugh when something looks just really campy and I want to cry probably not cry but you get it um this is just one of those popcorn flicks for me so we're gonna kick off the hollow watches with tremors um if you want more from me patreon information is in my description box below I would love it if you join me over there we have hundreds of watches for you to choose from and this is the part of one of my watches where I go ahead and thank my $15 tier. These are the people who support me just a little bit extra. And because of that, they get a shout out on every single one of my videos. So this month, I would like to thank Daniel, David, Ethan, Grisenmore, Jason, Anne, Martin. Oh, and Sean. Just working my way down the list. You guys are the best. Just thank you so much for supporting me a little bit extra. If you want to join them there, Patreon information in the description box below. And of course, as always on that note, let's get right into today's video, which is Tremors from 1990. Tremors. What are tremors? Like ground tremors. Yeah, like earthquake. Okay. This is Mr. Bacon. He always looks like a country boy, don't you think? This is your wake up call. Please move your ass. Three hundred head going hell bent for the horizon. Reba is in this. Okay, boys, really taking our time on this opening. It's taking in the sights. I did it yesterday. It was bologna and beans. No. Remember? Well, I guess when I'm your age, I'll forget what I eat too. Shots fired. I don't know. Tomorrow. Now look, we don't dig today, we don't get paid today. Now damn it, Valentine, you never plan ahead. Valentine. Who the hell's that? That's not what's his name, the grad student. That's supposed to be a girl. So they're diggers, that's what they do for a living. You will have long blonde hair, big green eyes, world class breasts. No way. She did. I'm Rhonda. Rhonda LeBeck. I'm up here for the semester. Hmm? Really, seismology. Earthquakes. Oh my god. She's totally perfect. Like, I'm sure she cleans up well. She's just got some sunscreen on her nose. Hollywood. Do you know if anybody's doing any drilling or blasting or anything like that? <laughs> drilling and blasting? They measure vibrations. Vibrations in the ground. Yeah. Also known as tremors. Anyway? Sorry to bother you. No problem. She's like, damn it, they were cute. I'm a victim of circumstance. 
I thought you called your pecker. Oh, boys. Boys, 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 boys. Well, it's all right. They're bored. There's not much going on around here, so. City of Perfection. Okay, population 14. Good. Well, we ran into that new college student, that Rona. Rhonda. Is that Reba? You're gonna have a heart attack before you get a chance to survive World War III. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> That's young Reba, right? With a perm? And is that the guy from Gremlins? <gasps> I forgot her name. Hopefully we get it again. Can't it angle? <gasps> oh, sick. POV shot? What are we- what is this? So soon. Don't waste any time. Just start killing people. <laughs> Cocktail? You bet. We have got to set our sights a little bit higher. Cuts to a cesspool. <laughs> Man, most of this shit is yours anyway. <sighs> Got a sight gag, guys. We're not delivering firewood anymore. We're heading for Bixby permanent. Oh, sure. It's a pogo stick for me, guys. <laughs> R. Hey, Mindy. <laughs> Mindy. 640. I used to do this. Did you guys used to pogo stick and keep count? Come on, it'll be at least a month's work. I'll throw in lunches and beer. I'm in, baby. I can't believe we said no to free beer. Oh, they said no. Now there is nothing, and I mean nothing between us and Bixby, but nothing. Yeah! Oh yeah? Nothing? Can't wait to see that, if that's true. Man, oh man, you must have been drunk this time. Edgar, get your butt down from there! Is he, like, electrocuted? One of these days, you're gonna have to get your ass on a wagon and stay. He's dead. Was it a heart attack, doctor? No. Died of dehydration. I knew he was dead. He sat up there and just died of thirst? Hmm. Hmm. Almost like he was running from something. Something on the ground. I can't wait until we get some kills under our belt. <laughs> Let's go. Suppose he wanted to kill himself? Come on, somebody must have chased him up there. What do you mean, someone ain't scared of a Winchester rifle? <sighs> what the sh- Yeah. <laughs> Guts everywhere. A lot of crane work in this. See, the camera is up. Fred! Pretty cool. I like it. A lot of, there's a lot of long takes in this, too. They let the take- Breathe. This is real weird. Was this made for TV? <gasps> oh, what the hell's going on? I mean, what the hell is going on? Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. What? A murderer, man, a real psycho. He's, 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 he's cutting people's heads off. I'm not kidding. They're pulling our chain. Yanking my chain. Sick. Yes. Man, we decided to leave this place just one damn day too late. Amen. Amen, sister. Look out! Is there some higher... Perfect plot device. They can't leave. I mean, are we asking too much of life? What the hell are these guys? Cover up that one road out. It's not like there's another road! Though that looks like entrails. Or brains. Probably brains. Jesus, oh my god. More conflict in the screenplay. They can't escape and their car is Okay, okay. They get away. Cry baby. Could it have been coyotes? No way. Rude. God. Be 
deal. Where'd you get it? Is that one of the creatures, you guys? Yeah, it looks like a lizard snake. Go touch, go touch. Relax. I don't know if it's. I'll give you boys five dollars for this. Twenty. Fifteen. Damn right, fifteen. I don't believe you guys. I'm like, here you go. You can have for free. We have to go to Bixby in the morning. <sighs> cinder blocks are in. Oh, the cinder block. Oh my God. <sighs> Oh, that damn thing. These two are oh. about to die, and I can't wait. Let's go. I hope it's really bloody. You sure this is where it was? It was right here. There's the cord. <sighs> I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Suck them under. <laughs> Pull her in too. Oh. It's like a slot. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Uh Jim, you got the keys? Jim Jim? Jimbo? I'm ready for a fake out. Another jump scare. Go. It's the rules, you guys. It's the rules. Suck it under, baby. Mindy, smile. You and the snake monster. Hold it. Melvin, get out of there. Everything's a novelty, I guess. Fifteen lousy bucks. <laughs> Man who plans ahead. You'll get him next time, KB. That's Kevin Bacon. Why aren't you calling somebody in Bixby? The police are- Oh no, we can't reach outside the valley because of the mountains. Oh. Do you guys love this? The screenplay? No CB radio, no phone, no roads. We got the cliffs to the north, mountains to the east and the west. That's why I had them settled here in the first place. Geographic isolation. This movie knows what it's doing. It's very self-aware. That's why I moved here. Geographic isolation. Hey. Walk it. Walter's saddle horses. That's it. You're welcome to them. Yes, Walter. It's not bad. Who's best on a horse? I'm like, Reba? <laughs> She's got that country accent. Hey, what do you want? This Colt or a... Uh... Edgar's old rifle. Rifle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does Kevin Bacon keep doing scissors while the other guy keeps doing rock? Like, does he keep losing? Won't you take one of our Browning autos? 375 H and H mag. Oh, well, thanks, Heather. Get it, Reba. Ah! <laughs> oh God, this clown. <laughs> Melvin! <laughs> Damn it, Melvin! F Melvin, I swear to God. That. Show me a Kevin Bacon cowboy movie. Doctor! Oh. Uh, the couple, right? The car's gone. We just missed them, that's all. Where the hell's a goddamn golden oldie coming from? Hmm. <laughs> it's such a nice touch. The radio's still playing. Come on, come on, get, get! I knew it! Walter wouldn't know it's decent horse. He must have bit him in the ass. Okay, not Walter's fault. What in the name of? What in the name of? They're under the goddamn ground. <laughs> what the hell are they? Some bitches. Shoot him. Not the horse. The snake thing. Nope. Just one. That's what it is. It's like a big mama with like a lot of babies in the mouth. I love this effect underground. I gotta look up how they did it. Oh, like a near miss and like fingertip action is so. You! <laughs> did you notice anything weird a minute ago? Where's your sunscreen, girl? 
So far, 10 out of 10 for goo factor. I love some goo. Give me some fake blood and guts. Well, let's just say it. This is probably the biggest zoological discovery of the century. Hey! Hey, check this out! I cannot wait until there's like a thousand more. <laughs> I mean, this thing had sensors tripping all over the place. No. Hey, run! Sensors tripping all over the place. I figure it. There are three more of these things. Three more? I've got seismographs all over this valley. Now, if you compare the different readings. Take your word for it. Yeah, wh where's your truck? We believe you, babe. Gee, my God. Is he serious? Damn prairie dog burl. <sighs> this way. This is wholesome, you guys. You know, it just, it just feels really wholesome. Where the hell's your truck? Oh, it's right over there. Oh, man. At least he can't climb. Good exposition. At least he can't climb. So they're safe on the rocks. I vote for outer space. No way these are local boys. I'm down for space. Love a good space movie. Well, we've got to do something. Well, we've got to do something. I don't know why we always have to... Rude ass. I say it's been listening. Senses seismic vibration. It can hear every move we make, especially on this rock. It's a perfect conductor. So if they just stop talking for like 48 hours, and then they can move, maybe. That's why Edgar never got down off that damn tower. I think I have an idea. Edgar. Who died and made you Einstein? You guys know how to pull vault! On these residual boulders. Residual boulders! Damn those residual boulders! Residual boulders. Guys, I want a t-shirt so badly that is a picture of an outline of a rock and it says residual boulders. What do you guys think? Oh, look at that. Look at the beauty. Wow, they got real lucky that those poles were there. Oh my god, she didn't even, she didn't even get in the f Okay, okay, babe, okay. Somebody perhaps uh, help me? Bert, Heather? They cut away right then? I want to see. You're a scientist, aren't you? Yeah, aren't you supposed to have a theory or something? Yeah. <laughs> we discovered that we should name them. Walter, forget the damn name. Now me and Earl think we better get the hell out of this valley. Let's call them gremlins bound to come check on us once they see the road is out and the lines are down. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> you see, they're headed right for us. Look, they trapped Edgar here, grabbed old Fred right here, nailed those two poor suckers on the road, and the doctor's place is right here. I'm gonna go get Mindy. Oh, she's okay. I started playing down the street. Oh my god, do we think Mindy's pogo stick's gonna come into play? Maybe not. I'm like, she's off the ground, right? We'd be safe there and we could hike along them all the way to Bixie. Ah! We... Ah! <laughs> I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> this fucking kid, man. Mindy! Oh, I'm so excited. I hope Mindy gets swallowed whole on a pogo stick. Oof. Where's Reba with the with the machinery, with the guns? <laughs> oh, quiet, quiet, quiet! Where is he? I knew it. I knew it. The pogo stick was gonna come back. I freaking knew it. <laughs> I wanted Mindy to like pogo and that thing just comes and like swallows her whole. That'd be so funny. Ah! Oof. Oh no.
Take off your pants, Mindy. <laughs> oh, that's not Mindy. <laughs> Damn. Two down. Rhonda. Here. Oh, thank you. Rhonda. Turn it off. They're a they're a Pepsi establishment. No, not him. No. No, 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 no. We like him. Fuck. Come on, let's go. Through. Come, girl, you can do it. Oh, I can't. I can't. I haven't even mentioned yet that those things are very practical, right? They're very they're built. They look rubber or whatever. But I'm just not understanding how they're animating them. Probably some sort of animatronic. Hey! What's going on? Where are you guys? This kid better be next. I want to see him go. Because they took my favorite guy. Yo, Walter, this is Bert. Come back. Hmm. Funny story. Walter? Gone. <gasps> Walter, you there? Come back. Okay, I got it. Sake. Negative copy on that Walter. Check your frequency. I'm on 22. Come back. I was gonna say this guy has a mustache and a hairdo that makes me think he's about to die next. <laughs> what is with all the Pepsi in this? So this is not a small movie. This is this was not made for TV. This 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 is product placement. Okay, I don't want Reba to die. but I do want the man to go. <laughs> More guts, please. More guts. Come on. Get slimier. Big guns. Big guns. Explode. Aw, oh, I'm like, come on. Congratulations. Be advised, however, there are two more. Repeat, two more mother humpers. I thought they got one on the first day with Rhonda, then this was two, and then there's only one more. There's three total. Maybe she said there was at least three more. You didn't get penetration even with the elephant gun. Penetration. <laughs> the word. Hey, Rhonda. What do you think it's trying to do now? Why do you keep asking me? She's the smartest one in the movie, that's why. Hang on, Bert. This bastard's trying something new. Over. <laughs> Coming up with a plan. We love monsters that learn. I do. Okay, are they gonna kill him? Come on, eat somebody. We're coming after everybody. Just hang tight. Over. Go. Uh, we need that car. Well? Hell, that old semi trailer. His tires are flat. Doesn't matter. That cat can pull anything. We just roll on out of here. We've got a plan. Rolling with the homies. What this little tractor? Start him up. What do you think? <laughs> This is pretty cool, man. They're like really destroying the set, you know, in real time. They're 
They got rigs going off and they're just got mechanical things happening. Best of driving the cat. Not while I'm around. Look, damn it, now listen to me. I'm older and I'm wiser. Rock, paper, scissors for it. Damn. I lost. Good luck, shit. Don't worry about me, jerk off. That's how I talk to people I love. Good luck, shit. Kevin Bacon's the best man for the job. He can run the fastest. He's the fittest. I'm sorry. Be quiet! Don't move! Now he's stuck there, though. Okay. So the idea is that this thing's too heavy for them to swallow up, right? Because I'm just like, they, he, they've been eating cars left and right, buddies. Yes. I think this movie score has no business being this triumphant and well done. This is like on the level of like some Jurassic Park E.T. Shit, you know? God damn. Armored transport. <laughs> Armored transport. And what are they making? An explosive, I think? We got some new things to teach them. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. God damn it, keep it moving. I'm not happy. Chanel's not happy. Max firepower this. I go for penetration, the 458, shooting solids, less ammo. She loves penetration. <laughs> Thousand gallons of gas, air filtration, water filtration, Geiger counter, underground. Goddamn monsters. Q Alanis Morissette's ironic. <laughs> It is really slow. <laughs> no. Eat this. Open your mouth. It's a good explosion. That was a 10 out of 10. Movie explosion. Good good spread. Good color. Good dust distribution. It's a hell of a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, look at us. Well, sure as hell gonna get us if we stay here. We run like goddamn bastards. Uh, pardon my French. Those things move fast, man. There's no bullets in this gun. Got you moving, didn't it? Not funny, Bert. This thing's swimming like Jaws. Favorite monster movie, comment it below. Mine might be Jurassic Park. We could have made a stand at our place. We had food, water. So you two screw ups hold us way the hell out here? Disrespect. I know what I'm doing. Take one of these. Walk right out there with the fuse lit and let them take me down. Me too. I'm doing that too. All right, how much we need? I don't know, but pretty quick. Uh, 15 seconds at least. Took them the whole movie to go fishing for these things? Pitiful. All right, get back! Good now. Bait! Swall get him to swallow it. Yes. Guts. Is that it? Oh, 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 oh. A lot of orange paint. Come on, lunchtime, slime head. Lunchtime. All right, get down. Okay, give me some more guts. Oh, sh no, he didn't spit it back. Oh, it's gonna blow up all of them. Oh my god. Where's Reba and her guns when you need them? Okay, let's make some noise. Try to distract them. Come on, everybody. Reba, shoot him in the back of the head. Oh, prehistoric looking. This one ain't dumb. 
Kevin Bacon always guessing at what they're doing and guessing right. This bastard ain't smarter than us. For Christ's sake, Val. I'm gonna go for it. Go for what? Val's been the one the whole movie saying they're smarter and now he's like, they ain't smarter than us. Where the hell is it? I got it! She got the lighter? Oh no. This better be one hell of a great plan! Yeah, guys, we're approaching a cliff. Too far, you throw behind him! Run, Val, run! Run it into the bedrock, right? Fly, you sucker! Can you fly? <laughs> Can you fly, you fucker? <laughs> I like I like the guts. I'm really into the orangey guts. We could make some real money on this thing. We could get in People magazine. That was so cute of Kevin Bacon. He's like, it's all pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, yeah. Pictures seem like a good idea. Yeah, well, um, thanks for everything. You know, saving my life and stuff. You're welcome. Maybe I'll see you sometime. Uh huh. Kiss. Are they gonna do it? They're not. I'm not doing. I think what's a woman like her want with a guy like me? Yeah. Freaking knew it. I mean, we all knew it. Duh. Oh my god. That's so insane. Also, is this song Reba? Okay. Let's talk about it. Ah, oh, Tremors from 1990. Whew, I have now seen it. You guys, that was fun. That was totally fun. Very, very interesting for me. I really like a monstery, gutsy pick, and that's what it was. Very simple, very straightforward. I don't think we're reinventing the wheel here for me personally. And I thought it was gonna be funny and campy and quirky and it was really predictable. Or it was like, it was like actually predictable and how unpredictable it is. Like you never knew how they were gonna solve anything or do it really. The only thing I really saw was the pogo stick, I think. So um, it knows that it's so nonsensical. So they've got Kevin Bacon explaining a bunch of to us. Like, oh, they trapped us. Did they really? They, they do like, I was never gonna guess that the monsters built a trap to trap the tractor at the end, but Kevin Bacon's letting us know, oh, this one's smart. This one's smarter than us. He knows what he's doing. So all in all, it's just like silly um, for me. And I thought that it was just like a very silly fun time. I would love to like maybe watch the rest of the franchise with some friends, I think. Okay, so Victor Wong is Egg Shen from Big Trouble. I, I messed that up. That's what I meant. I knew we'd seen it on the channel. It wasn't Gremlins. It was Egg Shen. Oh my God, Chanel, we just saw him. So I'm into that. I also thought it was pretty interesting. What do you guys think about um, a monster horror movie that takes place in broad daylight? Just right in the open. Um, I think like a, something like Jaws really works because we don't see the monster as much. And these guys, man, they showed us. So, okay. Budget wise, I thought that this was low. This is like a $5 million movie. Okay, 11 million is the actual budget. Okay, let's, um, yeah, let's go to my world famous trivia section. I hope you guys know that I'm always, always, always kidding and, exa and exaggerating when I say world famous trivia. <laughs> Kevin Bacon originally resented being in Tremors, but he needed the money. The film was not financially successful. Bacon feared his career was over and in the following years would refuse to acknowledge the film's existence and even called it the worst thing I ever did. He eventually came around calling Tremors the single most fun time I've ever had making a movie in my entire career. He said, I never watch my movies. Oh, I'm getting like goosebumps. He said, I never watch my movies more than once. And I've watched Tremors a dozen times. I love it so much. I spent years trying to capture the same energy we had on the set of Tremors. It's one of my favorite films of all time. It became a runaway smash in the home video market. The gag at the beginning where Val miss misses the staple eight times with his hammer was not entirely scripted. It was Kevin Bacon's spontaneous idea. Fred Ward's reaction was completely genuine. You know, I didn't really take it as he was missing. I just was like, I would miss because I'm not skilled at that. So I just remember thinking, that makes sense. Of course you would miss a few times before you got it. First film for Reba. Okay, I did want to know that. Shot on location in Lone Pine, California. Oh, so after filming was complete, the completely original set was torn down. That's sad. 
Okay, composer Robert Folk was brought in at the very last minute to re-score the film. This was due to the original score composed by credited composer Ernest Troost was lacking the punch it needed for the film musically. I was going to say, I think this score is so good, it has no business being that good in a movie that is so silly. Um, approximately 30 minutes or more was written by Folk and strangely goes uncredited in the film's credits, so they did not credit the actual composer. Oddly enough, both scores... Okay, so both scores are used in the film. Truth's score is more rest- westernly and country-like with the usage of guitars and harmonicas. Ah, Folk's score is more epic and used more trumpets, violins, yeah, and big instruments, the big strings, and is used more closer to the climax and in more intense moments. The graboids were designed by Amalgamated Dynamics. The full-scale graboid scene being dug up by Val was cast in lightweight foam, buried in a trench, and then dug up to achieve the desired effect. Okay, some answers for me. At 32 minutes, the first appearance of the full-size grabber is actually a miniature with a matte painting of the mountains behind them. Okay, so miniatures, a lot of miniatures. That is a Reba song as the end credits roll. One of the main concerns was how a lower-budgeted film could afford so many shots of the big worms. They resolved the issue by adding tentacles to the worms' mouths, which were a lot cheaper to, cheaper to create and shoot. Yeah. So those, like, little worms that come out of the mouth, I saw them being used a ton more than the big guys, and that was just easier. Um, some were articulated creations, worked with cables, and others are simple hand puppets. Oh, hand puppets. Okay, cool. Film notably never answers where they come from. The characters only speculate about it. Yeah. Ooh, reminiscent of sandworms and dune. I've never seen dune. Huh, I figured as much. So those rocks were not a workable distance apart for the pole vaulting scene. They had fake hollow rocks built, and aside from one windy day that sent them blowing across the desert, they worked beautifully. Yeah, because those rocks were not close enough. Okay, how do we get the wave effect where the creature is moving beneath the surface? Um, Accomplished by towing a boat buoy behind a pickup truck. Oh, cool. The cinematographer made a comment, um... He expressed concerns to the crew about doing a horror film in the daylight, was concerned that everything would be visible. That is the hardest part about daylight. Okay, this would have been lost on me. They're riffing on old 1950s sci-fi horror films, but they thought it would be funny if, unlike in those films, their scientific expert had no clue where the creatures came from. Yeah. The studio wasn't thrilled and actually asked them to write a scene where Bert finds a UFO and eggs. They wrote it, pitched it to the crew, and everyone agreed the idea was terrible. Yes. Okay. This trivia says Val loses three of four games of rock, paper, scissors against Earl. The one game Val wins for Edgar's old Winchester, he ultimately ends up losing because Heather gives Earl who's superior model 70 since he got the pistol. Oh, Val did the ending because he's heard Earl stampede story so many times he can quote it back at him, which is why he was able to quickly kill Stumpy with the idea. Okay, I feel good about that. So you have now seen my reaction to Tremors from 1990. That was silly. That was fun. So where were you when you first caught Tremors? Did you catch it on VHS? Were you one of those people? I have to know. So you're going to have to comment below. If you want to see my full length to this, definitely hit my Patreon in the description box below. This is just a fun little silly taste of what's to come for Halloween. So we'll keep having fun. I promise. And of course, as always, on that note, I'm going to go eat.